Okay, art friends. So what we're going to do is we're going to be painting on the white paper and we're going to be working with a challenge of making as many green tones as possible. So get your brush wet in the water to get it primed and ready to go. Let me make sure all my artists have a brush. Here we go. I do. There you go. Be careful. Don't spill it. Okay. So if you have a watercolor palette like either of these, it's fine. I happen to have both of these. This one just has a little bit more color options than this one, but either one is fine. So we want to start off with a basic green color and we're going to paint the basic green color because it's already on our watercolor palette. Now, if you've gotten your brush really wet, painting a little square of green should be pretty easy. But if your colors are very dry, like this watercolor palette, you're gonna have to get just a regular wet brush, put it in the paint and kind of wake up the colors a little bit. Yeah, like tickling them. Yes, like tickling the colors. Wow, mine is easy. And then paint a green square somewhere on your paper. Now we're going to use a lot of water on our brush and just a little bit of paint. And that should make our color a bit lighter. A lot of water? Yeah, a lot of water and a little bit of paint yeah, a bit. will make our color lighter. Uh, I want red. So we're doing greens. If you're working with St. Patrick's Day, if you are wanting to use all the colors you can, I'm working with St. Patrick's Day colors, so I'm working with making all different colored greens. So if I add even more water to my brush and just a tiny bit of paint, I can actually make this color medium or lighter, depending on how much paint I use and how much water I use. So I can make the color lighter or darker. So when you're doing a challenge, it's important to keep that in mind. I can actually make every single color that I use lighter or darker, depending on how much water I'm using. Mommy, I'm going to Oh, good idea. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of mixing of the colors. So I'm going to take a little bit of green in the cover of my watercolor palette. I'm going to clean my brush off. Clean my brush off. And then now I'm going to be adding yellow. I got to wake up my color a little bit because it was dry. And a trick I always tell my students is that Yellow is a really light color, so you actually want to add more yellow than you do green because the green will overpower it. So I mix green and yellow together and I'm going to make yellow green. And again, depending on how much yellow or how much green I add, I can change this color. This color has a lot of yellow in it, so I'm going to add some more green from my cover to this yellow to make a new color. Oh yeah, like mixing colors. Yeah, we're mixing colors. And we're keeping the paints here nice and fresh and clean, and we're not mixing them in the pans. We're mixing them in the lid because this can be wiped down. So this is our fifth color. Now, like I just said up here, depending on how much water I use or how much paint I use. I can actually change both of these colors by making them lighter or darker by using more water to make them light, or I can use more paint to make them dark. So now I've added more green to the same color. Mommy, can I write my name? Yes, you can. Yeah. And so this is the same yellow green, but it's darker because I added more green to it. So I'm painting it on both pieces of paper. All right, now we're gonna change this color by adding some blue. 
Blue, yellow, and green can all be mixed because they're analogous colors. And analogous colors means that they are next door to each other on the color wheel and that they will mix great. They make good friends. Okay, so now this color has a bit of blue in it. Now, if you don't like a color, that's okay. I don't particularly like this color, so I'm gonna go ahead and wake up my blue a bit more and add a bit more blue to this color to get the teal I was really looking for. And then paint right on top because I haven't switched my colors. So by mixing different blues, yellows, and greens together, by adding more water or more paint, you can actually change all of these colors. So my challenge is to you is to fill this paper using as many blue, green, and yellow colors of paint and fill it up. Um, for my oldest students, um, we will be going back to this paper. We will be adding detail with Sharpie marker, but we want to make sure that it dries first. So I'm going to continue painting my paper, filling it full of colors. And when it's full of colors, I'll come back and show you how to add the drawing. 